since 2008, austerity measures have hit over 20 million public sector workers across Europe. Pay cuts and pay freezes have been implemented in 19 countries, while banks and finance companies were being bailed out. At the same time, job cuts and recruitment freezes have placed enormous pressure on the remaining public sector workers trying to maintain quality public services. While pay has slowly returned to previous levels in some countries, in others workers continue to experience a major loss of purchasing power. This amounts to over €4,000 a year for a public sector worker on average earnings in the UK. In Italy, the comparable figure is just under €4,000, while in France it is anything from €1,100 to nearly €3,900, depending on the occupation. In Portugal, unions estimate public sector workers are 9% worse off as a result of cuts and freezes, while this figure is 15% in Spain and upwards of 40% in Greece. At the same time, precarious employment conditions have swept across the public sector, formerly seen as a model employer. While unions in Spain are negotiating to provide permanent jobs for over 350,000 workers, in Portugal and elsewhere the fight against precarious work continues. While facing these cuts and freezes, many workers have been forced to work longer. Working hours have increased in Spain, Ireland, Portugal and Greece, while pressure at work soared as recruitment was frozen and more than 900,000 jobs were cut from public administration across Europe. There is concern about a serious recruitment crisis in many public services as the workforce ages and workers demand an increase in staff to fight tax fraud, defend labour and environmental standards and more. They deserve better. There is no doubt that workers across Europe need a pay rise, and there are millions of public sector workers among them.